Well, I'm on the farm today and I've got with me here my uh, DJI Mavic Mini. And if you go online and you read about, uh, you know, you go shopping for uh, DJI drones and uh, you'll find there's the Mini 2, the Mini 3, the Mini 4 Pro. Maybe there's a Mini 3 Pro as well. And I'm guessing that I'm guessing that uh, probably later this summer there'll be a, a Mavic Mini 5 Pro. And uh, so this drone's got some age on it, but it still seems to work fine. And, you know, we don't have hardly any flight hours on it. I just don't fly it that much. Uh, one thing I'll say uh, straight away is uh, I have a Part 107 uh, license to fly a drone. So I'm, I'm uh, no issues with the FAA when it comes to flying a drone. If I wanted to uh, fly for somebody else uh, or if I wanted, let's say, uh, a realtor wanted somebody to uh, fly around the house, or maybe a roof in inspector wanted to uh, fly, wanted me to take a look, see at the roof form, or maybe uh, somebody wanted me to just do some crop surveys. Uh, those are the kind of things that you need the Part 107 for. Now, as far as posting to YouTube, uh, technically, you're supposed to have the 107, and I was warned. Uh, when I first got the drone, uh, and, and and that I needed the 107, and some of that warning came from the FAA. Uh, the biggest problem you have with flying a drone is uh, there's a lot of they call them Karens. There's a lot of Karens out there that uh, you know they're just looking to make trouble for somebody that's flying a drone. Uh, you know some of them. They're uh, they're kind of like a Barney Fife with a bullet in their pocket, and uh, other ones are just uh, making trouble. Now, when it comes to flying a drone, I don't think you should be able to fly over somebody's private property, but I believe the law allows that. You just can't take off and land. So I could fly on somebody else's property over there if I took off and landed from here, but I don't think that's... Uh, I don't think that's ethical. I, I I don't I don't condone that. But uh, anyway, uh, so one of the issues we have with this drone is that there's a a new uh, thing that the FAA's come down with that's been in development for several years, uh, remote ID, and basically your drone has to transmit a signal that signals its location. Uh, probably just like any other aircraft. So if some, something else is in the area, they know this drone is up there, and uh, from a safety standpoint, they can evade it. Uh, or worst case, they can you know, look you up and give you a nice fine for flying in airspace you don't need to be in. So a lot of the newer drones come standard with remote ID uh, built in. It, it, it gives that broadcast. But uh, and in some of the drones, uh, there were firmware upgrades that would cause that uh, remote ID uh, capability. But on the, uh, the Mavic, th this is the original Mavic Mini, and a lot of them return refer to it as the Mini 1, it did not get that upgrade. And so you're faced with either buying a new drone to get it, because right now, uh, if you're doing part 107 flights or your drone weighs more than I think 249 grams You have to have remote ID and uh, So the workaround is a remote ID module in this case that would stick to the top of this drone and what I got here Is a little module I bought in order to make me legal and uh, it's a holy stone I don't know if you can read that or not uh, it, on one hand, it's cheap, but on the other hand, I thought it was kind of pricey. Uh, this whole drone kit costs about $300, I think, when I bought it. And this thing right here was like 80 bucks. But I really didn't want to spend, you know, $1,200 or more on another drone 
just to get remote ID if this will work. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on here and, uh, and send the drone up and uh, just take some quick video with it. And what I'm interested in is will the drone fly with this thing? It's pretty light. It's really light. Will that thing fly stuck on top of there or will it uh, mess up the uh, aerodynamics uh, and cause it just to tumble out of the sky and fall? So let me uh, open the drone up and I'll come back. All right, so I got the drone uh, set up. I've got my remote ID module on it. It just attaches with some Velcro. And I got my phone on the, the remote controller. And uh, I'm just going to fly it off the hood of this Massey Ferguson. And uh, got to hook up a cable from here to here to connect my phone to the controller.